So a lot of realtors, when they first come to me for real estate marketing services, the first questions they will always ask me is something like this. Hey Eric, how can I close 20 more deals this year? Or how can I close 100 deals this year? Or uh, how can I close more deals this year than last year? Or they will ask me, hey, how can I get a prospect uh, calling me so that I can become their realtor? Well, I literally get hundreds and thousands of questions just like this, and I sum it up into one question. Because what they're all really asking is how can I, a realtor, scale my business, right? So I'll answer that in a bit, but to understand how this works and how to scale your real estate business, we need to understand two things. And these two things are the two resources that we all have in producing income and deals, right? So number one, obviously, is time, right? So that's time you spend doing open houses, cold calling, door knocking, uh, even just uh, prospecting, right? And the other, other um, resource is money, right? That's money used on uh, marketing, advertising, or even just um, hiring an assistant so that you can have more time doing cold calling, door knocking, uh, open houses, right? Now, the, the bad thing about time is that we all only have 24 hours per day, right? Um, there's nothing you can do to change that. My hours, my 24 hours is the same as yours. Now, uh, the good thing about money, what I love most about money is that we are able to turn $1 into $2. Right? You can never train in one hour and turn it into two hours, right? So this is why uh, money is your best asset if you wanna scale your real estate business. And the best way to scale and generate new business is to put in money into advertising and marketing. Now, don't worry, I'm not telling you to spend you know, $2,000 on Facebook ads. I'm actually telling you not to spend any money on Facebook ads because you probably have the wrong mindset about advertising and marketing. You see, most realtors, they actually believe if you spend money on advertising, you should be able to get a deal from it. And that's totally wrong because all your marketing, all it's trying to do is so that your customer base can know you, like you, and trust you, right? We, anything we do when it comes to marketing, we want our customer base and your prospects to know you, like you, and trust you, okay? That's all you're trying to do when it comes to advertising and marketing. And that makes sense, right? Because just imagine this, whenever you hit up a uh, car dealership, when you actually go in a car dealership, whether that's Porsche, BMW, Mercedes, even Toyota, right? Whatever car you're thinking about right now, when you walk in that door, the salesman already knows, all right, this guy already knows Porsche, like Porsche, and trust Porsche, and he probably already wants one as well, right? Or why else would you walk into a Porsche dealership? You see what I mean? Because you Porsche has done enough marketing so that you, the customer base, the prospects, already know them, like them, and trust them. And the same thing applies when it comes to real estate. All you're trying to do when you're trying to market yourself as a realtor is so that your prospects can know you, like you, and trust you. That's all you're doing. Right? And once you are able to accomplish that, you are going to be a very successful realtor because once they know you, like you, and trust you and are going to be in the market for real estate, all you have to do is to send them to your sales process, right? And you already have the sales process down, right? These, these are uh, appointments you set up with them, the coffee meetings, right? Uh, buyer's agreement, all that stuff. That's the sales process, right? You already do that when you do open houses, uh, cold calls, uh, when you door knock, right? When someone you cold call and you, they want to be your client, you send them to your sales process, right? Now, the biggest difference here is you're spending time to get them into a sales process. So that's through open houses, door, door knocking, cold calling. Now, when you're doing marketing, now that already, they already know you, like you, and trust you, you're sending a lot of people, done right, if you do, if you do this right, you're sending a lot more people into your sales process. And from there, all you gotta do is close them and get them to go through your sales process. Can't you see how much easier this is when you, when you set it up? Uh, and you will have a big customer base who know you, like you, and trust you. So those people who are actually eventually going to be in the market for real estate, 
maybe 90 days from now, 180 days from now, they will only contact you when they need a realtor, okay? So if you want more information like this, make sure you get my new book, The Future of Real Estate Marketing, okay? This, these, I document everything you need to know and how I actually help my clients get more leads, get more deals in their own local market, okay? This works for any kind of real estate you sell. Okay? So if you like this video as much as I like producing it, make sure you like the video and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and basically anywhere you see me because I'm going to be dropping more videos just like this. My name is Eric. I'll see you guys next time.